Have you ever wondered about the possibilities of a roller coaster falling off the track? Well, in this video, I will talk all about inertia and roller coaster wheels so that you have a better idea why you shouldn't worry about a roller coaster derailing. Oh yeah, by the way, I kind of refurbished my intro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey guys and welcome to 808 Coaster Life. If you're new to this channel and you love roller coasters and other theme park related stuff, please consider subscribing for quality coaster entertainment every one to two weeks. One of the most common misconceptions about roller coasters is that it's very easy for them to derail. Some people may be afraid that a wheel might break off and they will fly off the track. But in this video, I'll explain to you why this is something you shouldn't worry about when riding a roller coaster. I'll explain how inertia keeps people in, as well as how the wheel assembly keeps the train very secure to the track. I'll also go over ride maintenance so that you know how secure roller coasters really are. Newton's first law of motion mentions that an object in motion stays in motion unless there is an outside force that acts upon it. In the case of a roller coaster going through a vertical loop, the train wants to continue traveling forward but can't because the loop curves upward. It keeps on going in a forward direction until it completes the loop and continues through its course. Because of inertia, the roller coaster stays stuck to the track when going through a loop. Older vertical loops are more circular such as those found on Swarshkoff roller coasters. If you want to learn more about the best coaster manufacturers in my opinion, check out the card up there. Today however, most modern loops are a teardrop shape so that the forces stay consistent throughout the whole inversion. Recently, however, coaster manufacturers are starting to incorporate hang time into the vertical loops to make it more exciting, and I'm a big fan of hang time. Which leads me to tell you that the main reason why roller coasters do not derail is because of the wheels. A roller coaster car typically features four wheels on the corners. Each set contains two of each type of wheel. Road wheels run on top of the track and they're usually the biggest wheels. I can imagine some of you before watching this video thought that road wheels are the only wheels roller coasters have. If there were only road wheels, if a coaster crests over a hill or goes around an unbanked turn, it would easily fall off the track. But that being said, if there were no road wheels, the roller coaster physically cannot run at all. Side friction wheels run along the side of the rails. These can either be outside of the track like on B&M coasters or inside the track like on aero and wooden coasters. These help the coaster take turns smoothly. If there were no side friction wheels, the roller coaster would have a very hard time going through unbanked turns, and in some rare cases, tilt off the track. I feel like I'm saying that phrase way too much. Upstop wheels run underneath the rail and their job is to keep the train secure on the track when going over moments of airtime or hang time. Some old coasters do not feature upstop wheels, but those coasters do not have strong enough airtime where upstops are needed. One example is the oldest operating roller coaster in the world, Leap the Dips at Lakemont Park. But for those coasters with hang time or stronger moments of airtime, if they do not have upstop wheels, the incident could be very tragic. Some coasters have a gap between the rail and the upstop wheels. Others with weaker airtime have upstop pads, which, although easier to maintain than wheels, they have to be replaced very frequently. The two main materials used for roller coaster wheels are nylon and polyurethane wheels. Nylon wheels can make a roller coaster a little rougher but also make it run faster, while polyurethane wheels can make a roller coaster smoother but run a little slower. Wooden coasters and some hybrid coasters use steel wheels. Even though the wheels are very secure, unfortunately humans are not perfect. Rarely the employees miss a thing to check, which results in accidents. Some derailing accidents that come to mind are Tsunami at M&D Scotland's theme park, Sandblaster at Daytona Beach, recently Chimera at La Feria de Chapultepec had to be shut down because of an incident. Rip Chimera, and the most famous derail has to be Mindbender at Galaxyland. While these accidents are fatal, the amusement industry has learned from these mistakes and improved the safety of roller coasters. Derails are very rare incidents. Roller coasters are inspected daily. Workers check the track, drive tires, restraints, wheels, train stability, computer system, and especially the lift hill, as well as run multiple test runs. 
On top of daily inspections, roller coasters undergo maintenance at least once a year. But some rides like older Intamins would be maintained a lot more frequently. Overall, derailing is something you shouldn't worry about when riding a roller coaster because of inertia, roller coaster wheels, daily inspections, and at least yearly maintenance. This video was highly requested by my brother Jensen, so if you're watching this, well, you're welcome. So let me know down in the comments if this video helped you in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a like on this video. And if you're new to this channel and you love roller coasters and other theme park related stuff, please consider subscribing for quality coaster entertainment every one to two weeks. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.